Top three mistakes that all beginners make in jujitsu. He clips him behind that. That's it. That's it. Number one. Premise is guy standing over, standing up, he's trying to pass your guard. Okay, I'm like, oh no, this is, feels really threatening, especially for a beginner that's not used to grappling at all. Because he's standing, like this is a very threatening situation for me. And I've had even decent, decently high level fighters make this mistake. They will panic and run. Okay, so they'll try to get up and they'll give their back while doing so, right? Obviously, okay, people are gonna do this to you. You don't want that to happen. First thing, just keep the guy in front of you. Eventually you'll get good and you'll be able to do like a whole bunch of different stuff and break a whole bunch of rules. But as a rule for now, Keep your chest facing them. Keep your eyes on them. I have a lot of different stuff I can do here. I don't have to run from this, okay? I can use sweeps. Grab the foot, foot to hip, other foot goes behind the leg, pull and push, hook sweep. I can wrestle up, bring my leg under, head is up, grab a single, all the way up to my feet. Many options, but under no circumstances should you ever turn away, look somewhere else to try to stand up. Because he's obviously going to jump on my back and choke. <laughs> Number two, I see this very, very often as well. People don't want to keep their guard closed because they don't, they feel weird having the person be close to them. They wanna push them away, which that might be a good strategy, but if you do it like this, with your knees and your legs very close together, it's gonna be really easy to pass your guard. In Jiu Jitsu, when the person is in front of your legs, you wanna make the widest shapes possible, right? That's why the butterfly guard, for instance, is done like this and not like this. Another mistake I see beginners make, not as beginner because they're doing butterfly guard and not full guard, is they'll just keep their knees really close together in the butterfly guard. Do not keep your legs close together, okay? We need the legs apart. Hard for him to get around this now. Same thing, I'm in the guard, my knees are wide apart. Even if I was feeling fancy and I wanted to open my guard up, my knees are still gonna be far apart. Wherever my feet are, my knees are far apart. My hips are open. This makes it very difficult for him to get out and around. Under no circumstances, when he is in front of your legs, should you make your legs a skinny, narrow shape. If you do, he's gonna pass your guard. Okay, and then you're getting squished and crushed. Okay, and you're stuck here. Horrible. Third thing that I see all the beginners do as soon as we're uh, as soon as we're starting to work on takedowns is just grab the head and pull. Anytime you're they're wrestling, standing up now, okay, and I go and I grab his head, and I might even get the throw because it is a decent grip on the body to get him off balance and down to the ground. But when I do, he always throws this hook in, and then all I've got is that arm. Oh, 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 oh. It's so easy to slide out and just end up with your back hurting. Any time that we're grabbing the head, the head is a good thing to grab, but it's best to try to control at least one shoulder as well. Instead of trying to just grab the head, the easiest way to deal with this is get an underhook. If you have an underhook, especially as a beginner, underhook is a very, very powerful and very safe way to grapple. Get the underhook. Now you're gonna do essentially the same throw, which really is kind of a negoshi throw. Okay, instead of going like this and pulling them down over your hip, you're gonna go like this and this and pull them down over your hip. So now when you land, you're in a position that you're, where you are stopping him from getting to your back. Here, this can just slide off quite easily and he can get behind me. But if I'm controlling this point, I'm into that armpit. For him to slide that way is impossible. There's no way he's going that way unless he did this. He doesn't want to do that. I'm going to choke him. Instead of just grabbing the head and throwing with the head, grab the underhook. 
The underhook is safe. You'll almost never lose if you have the underhook. Beginners, there's a lot to think about in jujitsu. So all this stuff that I just said really boils down to three really basic things, right? Number one, keep your eye, well, let's call it four basic things. Number one, keep your eyes on your opponent. Number two, face your chest towards your opponent. Number three, if you are on the bottom and he is in front of your legs, right? He's still in your guard, in front of your guard, keep your knees apart, keep your hips open. Make a big wide shape with your legs for him to have to pass around. Don't make him pass around this, make him pass around that. And then lastly, don't grab the head all by itself and try to throw him with it. Get an underhook. Hooking under that armpit, that armpit is very highly prized real estate. We want to occupy it as often as possible because it's very difficult for him to spin and move around if we're controlling that point. If you're just grabbing the head, it's pretty easy to slip off and then the guy's on your back. And you really don't want people on your back. Real easy way to lose is give your back up to somebody.